let us go to client health. So client health is reported to be 95 out of 100. So let us open up the Wi-Fi health view and let us go to 24 hours. Or actually let us go to a week immediately. So this is now more interesting because we do see a dip in client health uh, if we expand the view to seven days. And you see here client, client health going from 93% uh, to 60, 70 and currently being 74. So let us see what information is available in here. So from Wi-Fi health score perspective, uh, we are hitting 96 out of 100, which means it is probably not an issue. So see, uh, Wi-Fi health score 96 out of 100 is green, but what is contributing to the low health score is actually network health score and application health score. So something is not okay in terms of net other network services, not Wi-Fi, and in terms of application. So let us go down. There is currently no current issues, which is good. All the clients are running on 5 gigahertz, which is good as well. And the client devices are utilizing Uni1 and Uni3. So it looks like the DFS channels are not being utilized at all in this environment, uh, which is quickly visible in here. And if we scroll down, we have clients supporting 20, 40, and 80 megahertz channels. We have 2.4 capable two clients uh, on 2.4 being capable of 802.11n, 802.11ac on 5 gigahertz. So there is no Wi-Fi issues in here, but the client health score has dipped for a bit. Let's return to the Wi-Fi health view. It's the one we skipped. Let's immediately expand it to seven days. Okay. Again, down here you're going to see uh, events like channel changes. Uh, you would see negative interference if an interference occurred, and you see that the SNR channel utilization associations per radio scores they're all okay. So SNR nowhere in the deployment does the SNR go below uh, the required threshold. Channel utilization is good, so we're not nowhere do we have a channel that is fully utilized or utilized to a point where that would negatively impact client performance. And in terms of load balancing, it seems like all the access points have, uh, none of the access point has too many clients connected to it compared to the others. In terms of channel utilization, we're seeing 1% of interference, which is low. TX RX utilization is 10% altogether with 4% in transmission, 6% in, in receiving uh, direction. So this is not a very busy network. And in terms of associations, the busiest access point is store one AP5, which is running on average six clients. The, each of the channels can be inspected individually. So for example, what we see in here is a channel utilization in terms of how much traffic was uh, passed when, when a client was on that particular channel. So let's open up channel 40. And we see it has 6.5 6 gigabytes of traffic transmitted. Whereas channel 165, for example, has 5.5 gigabytes of traffic transmitted. Okay, so channel 40 opened up. This is the statistics for channel 40. You have two views, linear or logarithmic, um, depending on what's easier for you to read. Uh, let's stay with linear for now. So SNR, the majority of the time is between 31 to 40 dB or even 41 to 50 dB. So no SNR issues here. The RSSI between 69 and 60, so it never really goes into the 70 to 79 uh, dBm area. And in terms of noise, most of the time we are at negative 95 or better. So there's actually not enough, there's actually not a lot of noise uh, impacting this particular network. So again, from a Wi-Fi perspective, this seems to be a very healthy network. 
Uh, in terms of data rates, we see most of the time the data rates used are 78 megabits per second. And the way you use this tool is to drill down uh, into the network and see if there's any issues, or it gives you a very it gives you a very thorough overview of what's happening in your network. So there's one screen, and in this one screen, you're able to quickly find out from a Wi-Fi perspective, from a client perspective, from a network perspective, how healthy your network is. And if we return back to the scorecards, this basically tells you, is there anything that you currently need to do to mitigate issues in the network, or is everything running fine? And it looks like for now, everything's running fine. The only thing you would need to inspect is that DNS issue that happened in the past. So it, again, that issue is currently not present, but something did happen in the last seven days on those DNS services. So this is an example of how we can use Network 360 to quickly find out how your network is performing in a very detailed way. Let's skip the Wi-Fi view for now and let's go to directly to network, uh, the network view because the client health score implicates that there's something wrong or there was something wrong on the network. So let's open up the seven-day view here. Okay, so what you see here is overall score of the network. Everything is looking okay. All the services are up and running. All the access points have internet connectivity. Default gateway is available on all of the access points that we're monitoring. There's low utilization of multicast. Uh, most of the traffic is uh, unicast, which is good. So we're not seeing any adverse effects of broadcast or multicast traffic. Um, let's go up to a month. Okay, so in terms of the network infrastructure, everything seems to be healthy as well. And there is no negative dips in our network infrastructure either. 